Hey everybody, it's your girl Bunny, Iyana Van Zandt, season six, episode 20. It's a two-parter, the last episode of the season. My review is coming up next. <laughs> So let's get right to it. The people involved in this episode are Rita, who is the mother-in-law, Ramisha, the daughter-in-law, and Christian. Rita writes into Ayana Van Zandt and has true concern about her son's marriage. One of the concerns is that she says, Ramisha doesn't clean the house properly. I have a true concern for Ramisha and my son's marriage. When I go over to the house, the place isn't as clean as it could be. The house isn't as orderly as it could be. And I think there might be some issues. Also, I noticed that with my grandchildren, that the kids are maybe a little rough because maybe she's not tending to those children and the older children are watching the, the younger kids. So this is what Rita expresses is a true concern for her. So we learned that Christian and Ramisha, they've been married for a while, about seven years. So they're not some newlyweds that are having some rough patches. And we have the mother-in-law that's concerned about them developing their marriage correctly and taking care of their children. They're already kind of established. So in typical Iyala fashion, she listens to Rita express her concern. But at the same time, before she jumps into anything, she wants to know about Rita. What makes Rita Rita. So she has these stones that have different words and phrases that are some topics to discuss that are very important. She has culture written on one of the stones indicating that there is a cultural difference or maybe some understandings that they need to go over. She's from Germany and of course Ramisha is from the state. So maybe there are phrases or things that are being said that are taken as insult but don't mean insult over here. So we have to understand that. There are the words single parent written on one of the stones. How you lived as a single mother has major impact on your son, learning that she filed for divorce, so there may be some communication that she may need to talk about with Christian about, maybe something he didn't understand as a child, we don't know, but this all impacts her feelings. Mental health is written on one of the stones. All of this correlates with all of these stones, meaning the physical representation of what you carry along with you and how you treat other people. I thought it was a really good exercise that she pointed out. All of those stones represent what's called microaggression. She expresses this terminology as microaggression. Aggression that you're taking with you, that you're pushing on other people. She instructs her to take all of these stones into another room and she says, well, I don't have a box to carry this in. Can you help? And she says, no, you pick up those stones and you take that with you. This is a representation of what you have on your back that you don't realize that you have. So they go into another room and there's a display of glass houses. It looks like a nice little neighborhood that they've set up as a representation of somebody that lives in a glass house. And people that live in glass houses shouldn't throw stones. So the stones represent you are throwing stones at glass houses but you live in a glass house as well after talking with rita iyala brings in ramisha who is absolutely gorgeous by the way may i point out she was just stunning i was like oh my gosh she's very pretty so ramisha comes in and she sits down and she says hey i spoke with your mother-in-law rita she has concerns that maybe you're not taking care of the household like she thinks. You're not tending to the children as well as you should. And Ramisha has her moment to say, I do the best I can as a mother and I really think she expects me to be this picture perfect wife as a Stepford wife saying yes and everything's always in order and being so perfect. And she says, hey, that's not me. Um, the way that I think of it, I think our home is just fine. She wants me to be her. This is something that I'm not, and she needs to understand that. She's also expressed that she's had conversations with Rita and letting her know that, look, I'm not the Misha that you think I should be, someone that's gonna be docile and do everything that you say and run my house accordingly to the way that you think it should be. They bring in Christian, and Christian expresses that, hey, 
my mother can be pushy and bossy and everything that Ramisha is saying is correct. And we've talked to her about this and we don't know what else to do. We say one thing and she's gonna be her. She's gonna keep being the way that she is. My mother has always been that way. So that's another red flag. So Yana says to Christian, hey, you are the king of the village. You keep things in order. Your word is pretty much final on how the house goes, right? Or, or your, and you and your wife. So why do you allow your mother to come into your home and disrespect and judge your wife in your marriage? And Ramisha says, you know what, before we got married, I did tell Christian and I did notice that he would allow people to talk to him in such a way and he really wouldn't step up from himself. And I noticed that. So I brought that up early in our marriage and also throughout our marriage. It's something that he needs to learn. Sometimes he can come off as passive. So Iyama says, you know what, is Christian passive or is he just a gentle soul? A gentle being a gentle personality so Christian says you know what I think I'm, I'm, I'm gentle but at times because of something that happened to me when I was a child I, I I can be passive because I don't want conflict and I don't want anything that causes some sort of aggression so he begins to tear up and I'm thinking oh my goodness we don't think about personalities and how experiences in life can affect somebody's natural personality. So we shouldn't be quick to judge somebody like that, right? So the, he goes into this story about how in Germany, while in Germany as a kid, he was walking to the park and on the way walking to the park, he saw a man that says, hey, you know, did you, do you wanna see a turtle? And he's like, yeah, I want to see a turtle. And then he goes into the woods with the gentleman. And we learned that, unfortunately, um, he was raped. So Iyama tells him, did you ever tell your mother? And he said, no. He told friends and those friends' parents ended up telling his mother. The mother found out and, of course, she was distraught and sad and he said that she was angry and, and sad about it, but nothing else further happened. It was just, she was angry about it and sad about it, and it was left at that. So that is one of the things that he also finds sad, that he didn't even feel comfortable with coming to his mother to tell her about that. So that's definitely something that Christian and his mother need to talk about. So wow, what a traumatic story and what a major effect of why he's not stepping up to the lioness per se to say, hey, you know what, mom, I understand that you're trying to be helpful, but this has got to stop. Disrespect's got to stop. So now we know why that this is continuing. They haven't had any type of consequences in saying, hey, if you say this about us and you're being so judgmental and you're, you're attacking us all of the time, this has to end, so therefore this happens. And the incorrect thing is that they're quiet about it, they ignore her for a while, they don't her, allow her to see the grandkids for a while, so it's this consequent that's, consequence that's really not helping the situation. Here is the big boom moment of the episode. Iyana asked Christian, do you think or have you ever considered that your mom is treating you as if you are the emotional husband? And Ramisha's expression is like, whoa, like, whew, I think you might be right. And Christian, you know, he says, you know what, that is possible. That makes sense. That's logical to think that way. She might be right. So Iyanla says, okay, we're gonna think about that. Let's take a break. So now Iyanla starts to speak to Ramisha's mother because of course we have to look at the background of everybody and everybody's actions and their experiences. So she talks with Ramisha's mother and Ramisha says, a mother says, you know, I think I'm here because Rita has a concern that, oh, excuse me, let me back up. So Iyanla, and Ramisha's mother, they walk into a room that's very messy. There's clothes everywhere, there's trash. She says, oh, don't mind the mess, come on in and let's sit down. So she says to Ramisha's mother, so Rita says that this is a representation of how Ramisha keeps the house. Do you think that is accurate? And her mother says, yeah, it's a little chaotic and it could look like this. 
okay? So then she says, you know, how do you feel about that? She said, well, I talked to my daughter about it. And Ramesha's, you know, idea of it is that, you know what? The kids are going to play. It's going to get messy. I'd rather have them mess it up and keep it messy until a certain point of the day. And then I will do a big cleanup haul and take care of it from there. And what I noticed is that Ramesha's mother leaves it as just that. She doesn't go in, into any judgment. She just says, that's the way she keeps her household. I've mentioned it to her and the end. Different from what Rita expresses to Ramesha, which is a very judgmental, very harsh, uh, uh, as Iyana expresses, violent way of expressing herself towards the way she handles her home. So Iyana asks her, she says, what do you think might impact Ramesha in her marriage or maybe her communication with Rita? Because she says that your daughter has her household in such a way that the way she was raised may be affecting the way she keeps her house. Whoa. <laughs> so Ramesha's mother says, you know what? I had some rough patches, patches in my life. I, I was a substance abuser she did live with her grandmother for a while that may impact certain things in her life but i wasn't aware that they may be impacting her life in such a way that maybe she's not functioning so i don't know so she's really honest and she's putting all of her cards on on the table she seems very calm and she seems very open to listening to everything that's going on another big boom in the episode is when iyana says you know what I think I have an understanding of what's going on. So I, she says, I mentioned to Christian earlier that maybe his mother is viewing him as an emotional husband. She says, wow, that makes sense. That might be possible. That kind of explains what's going on. So she says, I don't think Rita's issue is specifically with Ramesha. I think it's because she's, since she's viewing Christian as an emotional husband, that the side chick, quote unquote, is Ramesha. She is interfering with this emotional representation of this emotional marriage. She wants to correct what didn't happen in her marriage with Christian, and she's seeing this as an emotional marriage. Wow, wow, wow. Makes a lot of sense. So the mother says, hey, it makes sense. I'm open to it and we go on from there. Iyana tells Rita, because she notices in the letter that was written to the Iyana Van, Van Zandt show, that the letter had so much aggression and violent, you could, in other words, you could hear the tone of the letter. You know if you read an email or a letter, you can feel some energy from it if it's positive or negative. And if it's not positive or negative, you can kind of clarify, hey, did you mean this? If somebody writes in all caps, you can see that as yelling, but maybe somebody said, hey, I didn't, I, I didn't think that was disrespectful. So she's trying to get to the undertones of the letter that she wrote in to the show. And she says, you know what? I need a better understanding of where all this passive aggressive, violent language is coming from in this energy. Can you write down as an exercise certain situations that have happened? And I want you, here's a chart with a lot of words that express your feelings and I want you to pick from this chart and I want you to say this happened and this is the emotion that correlates with the experience she says okay she takes that exercise and Rita goes on she then goes to Ramesha and Christian and she says hey I really want you guys to read this letter that she sent into the show because I really don't think you know how she's feeling or things that she's felt because Rita says she's never taken these issues to you which I thought was so interesting. Here you are in a soup of emotion and feeling and you're not even bringing in those issues to Christian and Ramesha. You're just making all of these judgmental thoughts and you're building a wall in between you and your daughter-in-law and your son and communicating. You don't communicate well. So Iyana says, read this. They read it. Ramesha says, I think it's hysterical. I really don't see where all of this is coming from and half of this she's never even came to me about it which is just a major hit in the face and they just look so distraught as they're reading it like wow this is just this is just too much so then i think later on in the day or the following day well actually i think it's later on in the day iyana meets with 
Misha's mother and Rita in a room. So they're sitting there. She's speaking with Rita and she says, hey, I, I, I want you to go over your assignment that I gave you yesterday and I want you to express those feelings and those situations. And she says, well, you know, the stones you gave me, I did this and, and, and I, I wrote down this exercise, but I put that. And Iana says, whoa, 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 time out. You're not following the assignment correctly. You are completely changing what I'm trying to do, and you are doing your own thing. You are just, just saying, well, I, this exercise was this, but I think it's this, and I'm just adding in all this emotion. And she said, okay, let's try this again. Give me an example that correlates with the feeling that you had. And she said that it was one time where she met her, I think it was the first time she met her, and she was speaking in an English accent. Ramesha earlier in the episode says that that particular time that she's expressing, she said it as kind of like being like just joking, you know, we'll talk to you later, you know, kind of thing and being silly. But Rita said she thought that was judgmental and disrespectful. So she says, okay. And she says, I think that was very superficial. She says, well, that's a judgment. That's not a feeling. How did you feel when she said that? She says, well, it's just the wording and I think you're misunderstanding me. And her speaking with that English accent, it was disrespectful and it was judgmental and it, it was just, it was superficial. And Iyala says, listen to what I am saying. How did you feel when she said that? How did you feel? She spoke in an accent. You didn't even, you don't even know this girl. It's your first time meeting her and she did something like that. How do you know she didn't have an accent? And Iyala gives a, an amazing example and says, what if me talk like this all of a sudden? You didn't know I had an accent, huh? You didn't know I was from the Caribbean, just like I can, I can cut it off and cut it on. You didn't know if I went to shut it off, huh? And I thought that was amazing. And Rita just sat there like, oh, damn, you do have a point. <laughs> you do have a point. But <laughs> didn't think about that, did you? She's showing her that you're being judgmental you don't even know it another example she says hey in this little questionnaire thing here that that we need for the producers just to have an understanding of who we're talking to one of the questions on the form was rita do you spend time with your daughter-in-law and the answer that rita gave was Ramisha would probably be in the salon all day and i'm the type of woman i just want to be on a on a horse just riding on a horse and iyala says this was a complicated answer. It could have been just a yes or a no. And Rita says, well, I didn't think there was a guideline on how to, how to answer the question. That's how I felt. And I thought, well, she does have a point. Is, is there a specific way to an answer it? So Iyana was saying, you could have just said yes or no. This was kind of just like a yes or no question. Instead, you responded in such a judgmental way. So to help you understand, because at first I'm sitting there like, Iyana, what you talking about? So let me give you an example. So instead of her saying yes or no, that's just like me. If somebody wants to hang with me and they're like, well, I don't want to hang with Bunny because, you know, she'll probably be doing her hair and her makeup all day and I'm trying to go to the movies. Instead of asking me, you made a judgment call on your own and you judge me on an outer appearance and how I look or what's going on at the time when in actuality, you know, what if I want to ride a horse or what if I want to go to the movies with you? You didn't ask. You just assumed what I wanted to do and you judged you know me based upon that but I'm the biggest tomboy in the world I love to rock a t-shirt some jeans and some cowboy boots <laughs> I hate putting on makeup and doing my hair but just as an example you judged Ramesha before you even knew her therefore you just diminished and just trashed the possibilities of getting to know her you went in already already with a judgment of her you're constantly making a judgment of her and all of the questionnaires that they asked her there were no direct answers she never answered the question it just was just going around the whole situation and Iyana said you know what hold my hand she holds Rita's hand she holds Ramesha's mother's hand she said I'm sorry to tell you Rita you are an adult bully Woo. you are an adult bully wow what a blow to the face. You are an adult bully, Rita, and you don't even know it. And I think that she's trying to hold it in and pull it back so much and disguising it as, oh, I'm just trying to help, and this is what, the, and you're not doing this and you're not doing that. Wow. So some side notes of part one, right? I think there are a few things that they can discuss 
if she weren't so judgmental, I'll, I'll prove to you that Ms. Rita, unfortunately, is being judgmental. So instead of, you know, being so judgmental, the cleaning thing, now I will admit, I am a neat freak. I love things to be super clean and I can't stand seeing stuff that's dirty. And I think sometimes within culture or just personality, maybe you'll see somebody that has a dirty house and you'll think to yourself, well, maybe that person wasn't raised right. Maybe they, maybe they didn't grow up cleaning, child. When I was eight years old or maybe even before that, my mama and my daddy or everybody else or people or family members would tell me, you need to clean up. Before you even do your homework, go outside. You need That room needs to be clean. So when she said that, I was like, Dang, I've thought that to myself. <laughs> Am I being judgmental? Oopsie. I've thought that to myself about other people. Well, maybe they just wouldn't raise right child. Uh-oh. <laughs> maybe I need some counseling. That's not nice. But instead of communicating with her, as a mother, she could have stepped in and said, what if you have a guest that, that comes by? Let me teach you how to clean throughout the day with your children instead of waiting until the end of the day to clean up. Let me show you some ways or maybe some tricks or something that can show you how to clean the house throughout the day since you do have multiple children. That is from a loving, motherly perspective or something that she should have done instead of just passing it off as, well, you know, her mother has substance abuse problems, so maybe that's why she don't know how to clean. Ugh, that's just too much so I get it I can't wait for part two and I really want to see how uh, this unravels in the preview to the next episode you notice that Rita turns to Remisha's mother and says well I don't think your daughter is good enough for, for my son Ooh, the honesty is coming out it's starting to come out let it out girl let it out let it out how you feeling because clearly you've been feeling a certain type of way for seven years for a long period of time and you've been holding that in let them stones out let me know how you feeling and I'm just I want to see how this will unravel and it's a lot that she's holding in it's a lot of stones she needs to talk about clearly Clearly, there is something that she needs to talk about, that she needs to let out, and all of those things she's been dealing with as a single mother, as a divorced mother, as uh, uh, someone who she thinks her son is married to, doesn't think, woo, that's a lot. <laughs> so subscribe, y'all. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any post. Comment. Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful, wonderful life. Make things great in your life. I love you. I can't wait to see you again.